Hello everyone and welcome back to Obaki. As a student, you'd want to make your life easier. When I was in school, it wasn't like that for me. I struggled, stressed about the wrong things, and didn't know how to handle myself. So, let's make sure you don't go through the same. The first tip I can give you is to have the perfect everyday carry. The things you have in your backpack are the things that make your life easier and even better. Of course, aside from the school supplies you're already carrying, here are a few extra things you should have in your backpack. Lip balm is essential, and I mean a good one, not chapstick. Some of the ones that I use are Vaseline. Vaseline is probably the most accessible, and if not one of the cheapest, works way better than chapstick. But trust me, having a good lip balm helps you out. Having a pair of extra deodorant in your backpack can save you from some very embarrassing times. Another essential you need in your backpack is a portable cologne. Good colognes are something that I got into after high school. On the rare chance that I was wearing a cologne, it was very generic and basic, defeating the whole purpose of a cologne. You want your cologne to make you unique and make you smell better than others, and having those cheap colognes won't do that. Now, you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on one bottle. There are plenty of services out there that can get you a cheap one, if not an alternative. I ensure it's manageable because I have been there, where it cracked inside my bag. So the next thing would be not reacting to all the negativity. If I say bluntly, not having any emotional intelligence doesn't look good. You don't gain anything from matching someone's energy. If it's bothering you, step outside and put in your headphones. You don't have to retaliate against these people. If someone is bothering you and you don't react, you don't say anything. You just let them embarrass themselves. That's going to be a lot worse than you responding, because when it comes to annoying people, you don't have to do much. Set up a motivation board, either digitally or with printed materials on your wall. Remember that you should only partially depend on external motivation to complete your tasks, because that's not a sustainable approach. Nevertheless, this can be beneficial when you need a little push to kickstart your work. Firstly, it's crucial to understand the weight of assignments and the significance of exams. This helps you prioritize your time, focus more on assignments or exams with higher importance, and direct most of your effort there. Be aware of the exam content. While you might not have known the exact details beforehand, Understand whether the exam is primarily based on lectures, the textbook, or a combination of both. After receiving feedback on initial assignments or exams, reflect on the content's nature and whether it leans more towards lectures or textbooks. Analyze the early exams to grasp the teacher's expectations. If your class includes quizzes, jot down any questions you remember afterward and check if they reappear in later exams. Many instructors recycle quiz questions, providing an opportunity to earn free points as those questions might resurface in both quizzes and exams. Lastly, if there are resources like past exams, papers, or practice questions in textbooks, utilize them for reviewing. This helps identify knowledge gaps and increases the chance of encountering similar questions in the exams. For this next one, I must emphasize that eat breakfast every morning. You're at school for like 7 or 8 hours, you need to eat something, especially if you know you're not going to eat anything at school and you're going to wait till you get home or after school. Put something in your stomach in the morning. I know some people, you know you're not used to eating in the morning, but as soon as they start, it's going to, you know, get easier. Have dinner at about 6 p.m. and eat at breakfast. That's how you build your appetite for the next day. But yeah, eat breakfast in the morning, like having a nice meal. Surround yourself with an artificial community or a real-life community of peers interested in studying. This is helpful when you don't care about learning, school, or lack motivation. It can be beneficial to find maybe 5 to 10 people on YouTube or Instagram. It can also be like Hermione Granger, Rory Gilmore, whoever you see as an academic inspiration, and watching them in your free time to remind yourself to kind of glorify the process of studying, and that way, the holy grail of academic success, 
time management. Get yourself a planner or use digital tools to organize your schedule. Break your tasks into manageable chunks, set realistic deadlines and stick to them. This will keep you on top of assignments and help reduce stress. Are you building a legendary bond with your teachers? Imagine this, you and your teacher, the dynamic duo of the academic world. Be present. Participation is your golden ticket to teacher BFF status. Also, here's a game changer. Ask questions. Teachers love a curious mind. Have you ever heard of office hours? Imagine unlocking a world where you can discuss assignments, seek guidance, and build a mentor-mentee bond. Your teachers are your academic allies and trust me, they're rooting for you. In the classroom, practice active listening. It's not just about hearing, it's about understanding and engaging with the material. Take notes, ask questions, and participate in discussions. Active listening boosts retention and makes studying a whole lot easier. Don't forget to take breaks. Studies show that short breaks during study sessions enhance focus and productivity. Also, prioritize self-care. Get enough sleep, eat well, and make time for activities you enjoy. A healthy mind and body are key ingredients for academic success. I hope you found these school tips helpful and that they make a real difference in your academic journey. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your classmates, and hit the subscribe button for more valuable content.